Hey, this is MassX with a brand new Gotcha Revenue and Gotcha News video. And yeah, it's been a bit, like I said, I was going to take some time off over the summer. I'm currently traveling, so I just haven't had any time. And quite honestly, I've put a hold on a bunch of games I played. And right now I'm only actively playing three games currently. Still logging into some just to check out what's going on and grabbing some dailies, but let's get right into it. Let me put this caveat out there. The June figures are not correct. It's actually only about half the month of June. So keep that in mind when we talk about this. And of course, we have the ones we fully expect all the time at the top, like Honkai and Genshin. You know, they're always gonna do what they do, but of course, now we've got Weathering Waves up there doing right now now again 30 million but this is not probably it is not correct it's not going to include um pc it's not going to include about a, um i believe it's 14 days of june so this thing is a monster coming out and probably gonna be one of if not the top game new game of 2024 it's a solid game i just don't like my open worlds on mobile i prefer console but you know i played it it's good for what it does once you get past the, the first initial story and all the time it takes to get through some of the initial stuff it does really shine solid game especially if you like that type of experience with open world no doubt about that um naruto mobile really no need to talk about that because it's not available globally love and deep space just keeps killing it another one that i'm surprised they haven't pushed quickly for global on how good it's doing even in China, Weathering Waves, 20 million. I mean, this thing is just a juggernaut. Um, probably the next top game of 2024, Solo Leveling Arise, just keeps on going. Yeah, it took a drop from 40 to 18, but if it sticks in that 15 to 20 million range, this game for Netmarble is just going to be a monster. They've done so much right with it. Um, again, it still does have that net marble monetization, but in the end, it's just a good game. Um, what else do we got here? There's someone's... Oh, there's one we need to talk about. Okay, Uma Musome, pretty derby. I probably pronounced that wrong. I totally just forgot about this one until the fact that they just announced that it is coming out globally been out for quite a few years but it is on its way globally and I expect it to do pretty well globally it will be interesting where they bring this game if they're gonna start it in the infancy stages or if we're gonna get all the quality of life improvements that have occurred in the game really again <clears throat> it will be interesting to see its reception globally because it's a little bit different of a game if you don't know much about it um it really is a derby game but with um <laughs> let's just say waifus it's 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 an interesting game to say the least uh fate grand order is never going to go anywhere of course nikkei just keeps on chuggling away Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade, one that I was really hoping by now would be coming out globally. I play it. It's still one of the games I play actively out of the ones I've cut out because I just love Jujutsu Kaisen. And it's really the only licensed game out there. They just had their half Annie. Their income, as you can see, was $9 million, and that's not absolutely correct. They had some phenomenal stuff going on i had done a video for the half annie if you wanted to try it out it was the time just some amazing character drops as well as lots and lots of free stuff i hope they keep it up because i really want to see this game expand globally i really like it afk journey still slugging along i know it's had a bit of ups and downs again when i say um weathering waves in solo leveling i put afk journey up there i still think it's one of the best releases of 2024 for the genre it is and it really is a solid game they've had a couple hiccups 
um, after about the first 45 days, but I think they've got it back on the positive side and I really hope that the player base stays with that one because it really deserves it as well as Reverse 1999. Um, a solid game, wasn't my cup of tea, but was amazing graphically, the music, um, the story, just had a lot going on for it. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, another one I wanted to talk about, which I've mentioned before in previous months, and that's Heaven Burns Red. And if you didn't know, the announcement just came um, during Anime Expo that Heaven Burns Red is coming globally. It is, or could be, one of the best story-driven gacha games released in the 2000s era. It's really that good. I recommend if you like story based games this is a game you are going to want to give a shot when it comes out it still does good you know it's always in the millions um, in Japan it does a, a solid job they've had some collaborations it's been around for quite some time I want to say two and a half years either way it might even be longer at this point <clears throat> again just one of those games keep your eyes out for um, really worth giving a try uh, it's it's that good so we've still got some oldies but goodies in here of course there's blue archive seven deadly sins Everybody still is putting along still don't know how memento mori is but hey you know what their player base is loyal let's say that epic seven still chugging away and here's a funny side note okay as you can see epic seven in here you know always clocking in in like that three million dollar range i don't know what the hell got into me i dropped and put on hold a bunch of games i was playing but i wanted to start something fresh over the summer with no pressure just for some fun so i went ahead and restarted an account with epic seven and first off i gotta say it's mind-boggling the amount of stuff they give new players and the ability to advance your account so quickly it is crazy it is still epic seven it, it has some of the best things in mobile gaming and has some still glaring annoyances but it's still really a solid game. I've actually enjoyed playing it with no pressure. I just play. I do my dailies, of course, but you know, if there's a day I don't want to do anything else or any other farming, I just skip. But I gotta say, if, if, you, if you're burned out or you, or you um, played Epic Seven years ago, it's worth getting back into because it is so easy to build an account in that game right now. It's crazy. So, all right, we got Snowbreak Containment Zone, which is the comeback of the year. End of story, nobody else can lay stake to that. Um, it is crazy the turnaround Snowbreak has been able to do. We've got the Global Blue Archive still putting along. Again, one of the, in my opinion, top 10 games available still, as well as being free to play friendly like Azure Lane. Round Us 2 just had its year anniversary with some crazy character designs. Um, it was crazy. One that's really surprising me is Persona 5. It just, I figured, I really thought it would do a lot better given that IP. Um, I've not heard many complaints about the game. I myself have not tried it. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if it ever does come out globally. Let's go through here and see if there's anything else we're talking about in here. Black Clover Mobile, one I hit upon every month. Why? Because it is one of the few that I still play. Um, it's holding in there at least um, at 1.1 million. And with the fact that the June figures aren't correct, that means it's done some better, which is good because they had their six month anniversary for Global. They've had some major releases. They really, the, <clears throat> I just don't get this dev team on this game. They do some great things sometimes, but then they always do a bad thing or two. So you just always get a bad taste in your mouth sometimes. And it's a shame because the game itself is structurally good and sound. Um, highly competitive, actually ridiculously competitive with, with some people. Um, but it is a good game. Um, but hopefully it will stick above that million mark. I don't see it going anywhere as long as it does. It worries me if it jumps under a million because how much they have to put into this game. 
but again it, it's still again I, I prefer anime IP games and it's nice when there's good ones because there's so many bad ones out there so looking through everything else I'm not sure if there's anything else to talk about oh bleach brave souls boy that one's really starting to fall off I don't know if you saw but I put in my um, community section they did release the first trailer for the first new console game in so long for Bleach. It'll be coming out on Xbox and PS5 to start and Steam, I think. Not positive about Steam, but it looks cool. I gotta give them credit. I really hope it comes out this year. Given the downer with what we were supposed to get Bleach um, mobile game wise at this point, it is really nice to see that somebody took up the mantle to do a new Bleach console game. And I can keep my fingers crossed it's going to be good because I know I'll pick it up either way because it's just Bleach. And I've said this for years, I started my YouTube channel because of Bleach Mortal Soul. Um, and Bleach is one of my top three favorite IPs. Love it. Um, half my pets more than half of them have been named after a random amount of bleach characters and it's 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 one that i will always support in one of the few games i'm still playing right now um is the bleach c game that i've done some videos for right now just because i will not ever give up on bleach damn it outside of that it looks like I've got some Grand Summoners. It's really dropped off and it's not going to help them at all given that they just fell into a One Punch Man collab that's a repeat for them, at least for Global, that will probably leave them kind of stale for the next few weeks. Echo Calypse, Scarlet Covenant, which is shocking given they just had their big, um, their, their anniversary that they just did and not really breaking a lot more money yes this june figures are off but even just uh, yeah, that game i i gave up i i really liked the game i don't like the developers i gave them chance after chance and, it, and i finally just had to stop um it's a shame because it had so much good stuff going for it but like a lot of games the developers just don't have a clue sometimes of how to really maximize a game let's see anything else in here of interest blue lock global is not doing good but that's not a surprise to me actually i expected that just to really shine um in japan yeah i mean look at echo clips over oof overseas ninety thousand. oh my god look at the black clover mobile I mean, the only reason they can be keeping that server open at this point for Black Clover Mobile, since everybody's pretty much migrated to, to Global, is it, they really treat it as the testing grounds, I really think. Donamachi Battle Chronicle, wow. Man, some of these are just, oof, that hurts. In One Punch Man World, a game that just got absolutely and utterly crushed this year by horrible management i don't see any coming back for that game but yeah the month was better for just release announcements i mean i gotta say and of course the, the shining announcement at least to me coming and i have to believe it will be this year because the game has been out for a while and that of course is heaven burns red that's just one that I'm I'm actually pretty excited for when I'll be looking forward to play when it releases. So that's kind of it in a nutshell for um, some major announcements and releases as well as the, in quotation marks, alleged revenue um, for June of 2024 with the caveat that it does not include the entire month of June. But with that, as always, Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot. Have a great day.